Toastmaster, distinguished Toastmaster, area governor, fellow Toastmaster, and guests. When I was 14 years old, one of my favorite things to do in Colombia was to go in the open prairie and chase cows. One day, the owner didn't like the idea of us going to his private property. He trapped us. He trapped us. I use the word trapped because he didn't take us to the police department. He took us to his bull ring arena in one of his properties. He was going to refute our wrongdoing, chasing cows. So he told us, you like to chase cows? I'm going to re reverse the roles today. I'm going to put you in the arena, and you're going to be, paid, and you're going to be chased by a prize bull. Prize bull? OK. So seven, seven of us went into the arena. We were standing in one end, and we can see the doors at the other end. The doors opened. Here's the bull, like a runaway train, goes into the arena. Black, majestic, Murillo, big neck, <coughs> muscles, coming at us. I froze, we all did. And I'm saying to myself, please God, make me move, <laughs> make me move, finally, I was able to move, and we ran quickly to the fence. All seven of us jumped the fence over and hit under the bleachers. So the owner is having a good time. Comes over and says, I hope you have learned your valuable lesson. And we looked at him. Oh, and he saw that gesture. He says, so you haven't learned. Who wants to fight my bull? And I'll pay you a thousand dollars. I quickly raised my hand. Because one of the three things that I wanted to do when I was young in Colombia, professional soccer player, professional cyclist, or a bullfighter. All three have a common denominator. Money. You make a lot of money if you ever make it to that professional level. Plus one tiny little thing. You get the girls. Good thing my wife's not here. So I raise my hand. He goes, go ahead. Go up there. And the owner says to me, tell you what. Usually a bull fight is between 10 to 12 minutes. He says, all you have to do is three passes. You stand in front of the bull. Don't move your feet. Three passes. And I'll give you a thousand dollars. It's a lot of money. Yeah, can't be that hard. So I stand there. Let me regress just a little bit because I want to tell you about the black majestic bull. These bulls are special. I admire these bulls. And they're bred from the day they are born. They take the best cows. Tiny little cows, you won't believe. The tiny little cows with no horns. And they go into what is called a tienta, a testing arena. And there is a matador who fights them. And the objective is to find, out of 30 cows, is to find the best three cows in terms of aggressiveness. It's a good thing my wife is not here. She falls into that category. <laughs> so they pick the best three cows most aggressive ones. The other 27, sad to say, they go to the slaughterhouse. During the first year, the baby cat stays with their mother, or his mother. Typically, if you are in the real world with a cow, they stay two or three months. And they separate them. Stay for one year. You want to get that milk into the bull, make them stronger. 
Then they get separated after the first year. Two, second and third year, 30 bulls are put into a corral. They're fed the best food that you can find. After, after the third year, the fourth year, they get tested. Not by a matador, but by a horse. Find out which bulls are the most aggressive, ferocious, and who have the, who, or which bulls have the best stamina. Out of the 30, they only take three. And those three are broken down into three tiers. They go by weight. If it's 1,000 pounds or more, they get to fight in the arena. If it's 800 to 1,000, they go to the minor leagues, like baseball, minor leagues. And if it's less than 800 pounds, they go to local towns. This bull that I had in front of me had to be in the category of tier one. It's a prize bull. It looks so big. So I'm standing there, waiting for the bull to run at me. He runs. I'm waiting, and I make my move. I can feel his breath, his hot breath. He came so close, he almost pierced my leg. Do I really want to do this? Second time he comes, and this is when the fatal blow came. You see, once a bull goes into the ring, they know that the little cloth, I don't know if you have seen a, a bull fight, that's not the enemy. The little cloth that they have to do is they know that the human is the enemy. And I was visualizing that. And the second time, sure enough, the bull comes towards my thigh with his horn, nice even horns. They have to be even, otherwise they don't put them in the bull. In the, in the bowl arena. All I can remember, flying through the air, waking up three days later, next to my mother, and I'm saying, am I in heaven? <laughs> I said, nope. But one thing I'm gonna tell you, son, the dreams of becoming a bullfighter have been tarnished, abruptly by this aggressive bull no more bullfighting for you. So I learned my lesson. Who wants to fight a bullfight? A, 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 bull, a Spanish bull for a million dollars. Raise your hand. Madame Toast